I'll punch you in your Get don't. your hand off my car, sir. Get out of the car. Look at him. His hand's on my his- My wrist hurt, though. Get my in. wrist hurt. Okay. Get his wrist in. hurt. Tom, I would appreciate it if you would educate this There was a police officer who stopped a man. They began to argue. After a while, the first cop drove away, but soon another officer arrived. He also told the man to leave. The man tried to do so, but then the second cop became very angry. Do you need to be behind this traffic stop? Yeah, his wife, my son right there, he was following me to follow. Okay, he's on a traffic stop, so you don't need to be behind it. Well, you gotta be mean. Oh, I'm not being mean. We just don't like when people pull in behind us. I don't like when they pull my that's what we get paid to do, to pull people over. You don't get paid to be your And you don't either, okay? I don't got to put up with your Okay, I asked you a simple question, okay? In fact, you need to leave now or you're going to get charged. It's that easy. I'm recording too. I asked you a simple question. If you have attitude, that's your problem, okay? Yeah, you saw me and you rolled you your window up when I came. Traffic stop. Hold on a second, right. okay? No. You rolled your window up no, I when I walked up, okay? Care. So I knocked on your window, stop. okay? You, you are not a cop. Over. You don't need to be I behind you, okay? So you need to leave no, right I now. No, I don't need to do anything. You I'm got on a five seconds street. to leave, okay? There's no reason for you to be behind this traffic stop. No reason, okay? No reason, okay? It's not a public No reason. Do I not pay Okay. Do you always stop behind cops when they pull people over? I ain't stopped right behind you. Okay? You don't need to be here. I ain't You don't need to be here. Okay? Here. You need to go. No, I okay. don't. I'm waiting on my son. All right, He's fine. right back to the I ain't you don't need right to be behind here, okay? Here. You need to go. No, okay. I don't. I'm waiting on my son. Right, He's my right back to Wilson. Leave. Leave. He insisted the man get out of his car. He treated the man like a very bad person. He shouted at the man repeatedly, demanding him to exit the vehicle. That's the part. Yeah, st stay! 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 Hey! Stop the Stop the Get the car! Get the car! Get out the car! Yes. What the hell do you think you're doing? I ain't doing anything. Okay. Oh. Now you're on a traffic stop and you're trying to drive away? Get out okay. the car! Call state police! Get out the oh. car! It has nothing to do with anything. Okay. They don't have jurisdiction over it. Get out of the car! Get out of your house! No! I got my truck! Don't give a Put it in the car! I just can't help. Sit down as long. You know, Don't pull away from me. I'm not. You're going to get lit up. I'm not. Okay, you're going to get lit you're up. You're breaking my arm, man. Hold on. Do you have your wallet on you? Don't do that, man. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to pass search you. Now get out. I got my wallet. Get out now. Car trying to open the door. I said, get out the car. Get out the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. He runs it while I'm holding on to the car. So I had it in my car. Then he puts the car in reverse, backs up on the six hand car, while I'm still holding on to the car. And we tried getting him out of the car, and he, kept, he, he had the car in drive, and he accelerated, but he didn't. We tried to uh, get him out, and he was refusing, and then when we tried to put him in, he was refusing. So I tased him, and then I tried to get him out to pass search and, and get his wallet, because he wouldn't tell me anything. And then that's when, that's when you rolled up. Okay. I'm going to get him over to the jail. The situation grew tense as the officer's anger continued to rise. Hope the cops catch their demeanor soon. This man had a lesson to share with a police officer. He told the officer that he didn't require any permission to film in public places. The officer felt embarrassed by this, and his pride was hurt. The man continued to record the police vehicles and the officer, who was powerless to stop him. Hey, you, I don't need your directives. I'm, I'm not committing a crime, stay away from me. Don't walk towards me, stay away from me. No. You don't get to pick where I stand in public, buddy. Well, get away from me. I don't know. Oh, get gonna... away from me, you coward. You coward. You ain't going to search me for nothing, buddy. Tape, but go down the... You don't tell me where to go, Streeback. Get away from me. Go over there with your buddy. You see how he's smart enough not to say nothing to me? You see how he's smart enough not to say nothing to me? But, you are... but you're dumb enough too, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You don't have to ask me nothing. Back up, man. Good. Stand right there. I mean, no ill will or intent towards you. Go do your job. Okay, I just asked you to step away. I don't care what you asked. I don't. It's not a law, buddy. Is that a law? You're a law enforcement, aren't you? Thank you. I don't know what you are doing or planning to do or not. I'm standing here with the camera in my hand, genius. <laughs> well, I can stand your distance. You can stand there, then. Yeah, well, I didn't say you couldn't stand there. I didn't try to tell you to go somewhere like you did me, Jack. 
Yeah, I got freedom of speech too, by the way, buddy. Yeah, I know you know, and it's you look at your disdain towards me because you can't stand it. No, yeah. Proper, proper would have been leave me alone when I walk up to you. That's what have been proper. That's why the public can't. It was a moment of triumph for the man as he exercised his right to film in public, making a point without the need for any violent words or actions. He can't do. I said you could tape, just scoot it down. I don't need your permission though, that's where you're wrong. Giving me permission to tape, I don't need it from you. The constitution of this great place gives it to me. So, hey, here's another law in Indiana, I'm not going to get you. I'm asking you to quiet down, stop screaming me out. Bud, I can protest anywhere I want and be as loud as I want. Exactly, exactly. So let's be quiet now, sir. Okay, stop Number 63. Stop this is my normal voice, buddy. Okay. This is my normal voice. So this is Officer Strebeck, number 63. He's from Griffith. Do not walk He's a Then we got number nine. Us. Giving you a legal lawful directive. Do not walk up on the <laughs> We got number 63 that's this is his car he's a canine douche got number eight okay i already know who you are you don't need you to identify walk, yourself just don't walk I, I don't, up on us i'm not telling you again don't walk up on us notice how this guy's not saying nothing to me he's, on the radio, he's not saying nothing to me bro but you keep on talking i know you're not i would never be a pig Okay, that's <laughs> never in my life. You're very disrespectful. No <laughs> so are you by telling me what to do as soon as I walked up. You should have you shut your up. mouth. Just you should have shut your mouth and you wouldn't have had this. Right, <laughs> I'm going to stand right here, buddy. You don't walk up on us. I don't know what you're about to do. Don't. You're a coward, dude. Okay. You shouldn't be a police officer if you're scared of people walking up on you. Okay. Coward. You're going to be all over the internet in about an hour, buddy. Right. What a coward, man. This is what our tax money, money pays for? Don't walk up on me. Don't walk up on me. The officer had to accept the situation, and a valuable lesson was learned about public filming rights. Once upon a time in Texas, there was a young military veteran named Curtis Clark. He's behind the wheel when a Fort Worth police officer, Garcia, pulls him over. Why? Well, it's because Curtis had a temporary Arizona tag on his license plate. Let's see how this chat between them unfolds. I'm Officer Garcia with the Fort Worth Police Department. The reason for the stop is uh, the plate on the back of your car. Didn't Why were you tailgating me? me? I was tailgating you because I couldn't read. I wasn't even tailgating you in the first place. You were place. tailgating me. Okay, sir, do you that's, have your license? And that's why I slowed down and put my hand out the window. I didn't know you were a cop. Do you have your license? And proof but I was, uh, I was trying to get you to get off my butt. I was trying to read your plate, your fake plate. Do you have your license? My fake plate? Why is it fake? Do you have your did license? Did you run it? Did you run it? Yes, I did, sir. Didn't come back to anything. Uh, check Arizona. It's A dot. Go, go back and check. Go back okay, and check. Do you have your license and proof of insurance? Go back and check. This is an illegal stop and seizure. It's Search not, and seizure. Sir. It is not. Yes, it is. You illegally stopped me. What's the crime? The crime is your plate isn't coming back to anything, sir. It's from A dot. Did you look that up? Okay, I will. I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you that now. Okay, now I'm conducting an investigation. So Why? I need, Why? For because what? Because I don't know if the vehicle's stolen. I don't know if the plate is stolen. I just you, need you. No, you can't pull me over for no reason. That's not reasonable suspicion. Yes, it is. It's sir. not because you could have ran the plate. It's a normal plate. Johnson. What's wrong with you? Do you have your license and proof of insurance? Why are you following my camera? You don't want to be seen. Why? I'm not following your camera, sir. You're not. No, sir. Cool. You have your license and proof of insurance? Huh? You don't want to give me your license and proof of insurance? I'm not. I want to share. I want a sergeant, please. He's on his way right now. All right, cool. I already called him. All right, cool. Do you have your license and proof of insurance? I do. You do? Yeah. Can I have it, please? You didn't pull me over for a reason, did you? Sir, your plate didn't come back to anything. I'm conducting. Look at a dot. Go back and go look at the Arizona system. I've been over this before. You want to be popular too? You've what? been over it with who? You want to be popular different, too? Different officer. Yep. All right, I'll be right back, sir. Sit tight, okay? These guys are nuts. I'm gonna switch uh, to the other side of the camera. Howdy, sir. I'm Officer Morgan for the Police Department. Are you How sergeant? You are you sergeant? No, I'm not. So all right, I'm then I don't want to talk to you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know what's going on. Why isn't he? I'll talk to one guy at a time. Okay. Are you fine talking with me? No. Say again. I, I, I'd like to talk to the same sir, guy. 
Okay, he said he's he's handling everything. My sergeant's on his way, but I was gonna let you know. Did he tell you why the reason he stopped you? So the reason he stopped you is okay. You don't have to get involved. Uh, I'm I'm about to tell you that you're. Right. you're that I you're, don't. I don't want to talk to twelve okay, people. That's fine. So. Because you guys end up asking me all this, I'm like you don't you know anything. what's going on with the situation. I this do. isn't your, this isn't your stop, is it? I understand, sir. This isn't your stop, is it? I understand, sir. But are you the primary I'm officer? I'm not asking you any questions. Are you the primary so, officer? The reason he stopped you is because of Tim Tag, but he didn't know it was an Arizona play because it doesn't say anything like that on there. So I just told him to, so. So, so know, search it. He told you. Get me out of here. You told him that. Go search it. Get he me out of here. Later, he came back, so you are free go to search go. it. Okay. All right. Cool. So if you just understand, so have a good night. Okay, you're free to go. Please leave. Oh, I know I'm free because I didn't do a crime. Okay. You please. guys are actually not free. You know why? Yeah. Because you're you're criminals. You're a criminal. What's your name? Morgan? Yep. What's your badge number? 4765. What's his name and badge number? Uh, he can give that to you. I want it. Okay, I'll tell him to come up here and talk to you. I'm Officer Garcia, 4937, okay? Officer Garcia, 4937, what's your department? Can you, can you not shine that directly in my eyes, my guy? safety issue, sir. You don't have the right to shine that directly in my eyes. You're blinding better, me. Is that better? No, you're you're still doing okay, it. Well, you're free to go. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get your picture another way, Garcia. Yeah. Forty nine sixty three. Yep. Yeah. Don't do this again, Garcia. Okay. Drive safe. You have a good night. Hey, don't do this again, Garcia. Okay. Drive safe. Have a good night. Stop sir. putting that in my eyes. You rude, night, sir. rude person. A rude person. You're free to go, Mr. Clark. A have rude, a good night. rude people. You know what? I'll stay here. I'll let you guys leave. Officer Garcia, where is he? Oh, you're fine. Thirty seven, sir. There he is. That's Garcia. He likes to shine lights in people's eyes and blind them. Are you good now? Are, are you? Good? Are you good, Garcia? I'm Sorry, perfectly I okay. Away. You're acting in a threatening manner. Please I'm stop. acting. I'm standing yes. still. Okay. I'm just getting some but recordings. Approaching, approaching police officers like that, getting in their face is not okay. Well, okay. Uh, he's shining his light in my eyes. You don't think that's okay? It's a, it's a light, man. You he's think a, that's it's okay? It's a dark area, so he's got to shine. See, he's shining it directly in my eyes to be an. Okay. He's my right. Trying to be an. Ass trying to be a jerk. You're not trying to be an. I think you are, Garcia. Okay, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, sir. Hey, Garcia, stop shining your light in people's eyes. Is my light in my That's, hand right that, now? That Is wasn't... My hand right hey, now? man, it just down, happened. Sir. It just happened. Down. Are you okay? You need huh? to calm down, sir. Huh? You need to calm down. Huh? I do okay? I? Why? Why do I have to calm down? Our supervisor? Our am, supervisor? I, am I doing like anything wrong? Right Illegal? There. No, I'm not. You're acting in a threatening manner right now, sir. Why am I threatening? How? You're just... You're just you feel threatened what? You're a little extra, sir. A little extra? Yeah. You just had your light in my eyes, my guy. That was pretty rude. Oh, never mind. This Look at this guy. He's searching through my car like That's weirdo. Not That's not searching. Oh, he's, that is searching. It he's is shining not. his light and looking around. He didn't enter it, so it's not illegal, but it's still weird. Exactly. It's, not it's still weird. Okay. Oh, he just bumped into me, yeah, this guy. No What's problem. your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? You just put your elbow on me, guy. It's time to go, bud. What's your name and badge number, my guy? Hey, you got go. What's your name? You're, you're getting physical with me now, and I don't have a right to be upset. I'm acting threatening. What's that? My guy, huh? You tough? Take off that badge, my guy. This is Texas. Hey, it's mutual hey, combat are you, here. Are you taking any huh? You want to do mutual man? combat? Have you smoked anything? You want to do mutual know. combat? Huh? Sorry. I would love to do it. Officer? It's mutual do combat here in Texas. Okay, we can go to a jujitsu club. Huh? With the you want to go do jujitsu with me sorry, or boxing? Sorry. Let's do it. We'll put gloves on. It'll be a real fun time, my guy. Huh? So don't don't put your elbow on on me, huh? You can do whatever you want. You put your elbow on me, my guy. It's on camera. You're right up on me. He's shining. His, this other guy's shining his light right directly in my eyes. I couldn't see. He was blinding me. I have a right to be mad. This is gonna turn into a huge lawsuit because you guys are acting like pigs, huh? Is there anything else I do for you tonight? You don't care. I do care. Why don't you care? Yeah, Are you going to correct your 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 subordinate, Sergeant? Sir, no, why not? Why not, Sergeant? Do you need an ambulance or anything? You're shaking a lot. This one makes you know why? Because you guys are you're terrorizing okay. me, you terrorists. Yeah, huh? you work for Bin Laden. You work for Bin Laden. Why? Huh? Al Qaeda. Huh? Have a great day, Why is that, huh? How can I have a good one, my guy? You guys are freaking harassing me. You guys are. You get shame on all of you. Hey, look up. There's Jesus. He's watching. It always turns into a thing with these guys. A U.S. veteran sat quietly in his parked vehicle outside a VA, short for the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. A cop strolled up, curious and inquisitive. He asked questions and requested to see the man's identification to confirm his veteran status. 
Excuse me? How are you doing today? Why? Are you uh are you here to be seen? Why? Well, it, cause this is the VA. Yeah. Are you a veteran? Yeah. Can I get some get some ID on you? No. You want me to leave? I'll go. What's that? You want me to leave? I'll go. No, I, I need to see your ID. Why? Because this is federal property, and you're not a veteran. I'm not. I just asked you if you were a veteran. You told me no. I did. Can I see your ID? You're not free to leave, so we can do this the easy way or the hard way. It's gonna get real hard, I guess. Okay, hang tight for me. The veteran hesitated, reluctant to share his ID. He offered to leave if that's what the cop preferred, but the officer persisted. He reminded the man that the VA was federal property and questioned his veteran status. The veteran was puzzled, for he never claimed otherwise. Every time I pass by you, you give me an ugly look. Now you're being ugly. Is it a coincidence? No. I'm not free to leave, I'm detained. I'm detained? Am I being detained? Right now you're not free to leave. I'm being detained? In the presence of the crime, you have not provided any sort of identification. You told me when I What was started. the crime that you, you're stopping me for? You're hanging out on private property. This is federal property. When I asked you if you're a veteran, you said no. I said yes. And so I asked for your veteran ID card, and you said no. Why are you asking? I told you that I'm here. I'm a veteran. Go look at my sticker on the back of my car. It says a lot. Hey, sir, can we get you some ID? I just want to leave. Huh? I just want to leave. You just want to leave? Yeah. Can we get some ID first, and then you What was the crime? Pardon me? What was the crime? Let me get some ID. What was the here? crime? You're on, are you a veteran? Yes. Identify yourself. What branch are you in? Uh, what is this? You see the sticker? No. Identify Let's not your, be stupid. Identify yourself, I, no, I shouldn't have to go through all this every identify time because yourself, you guys are freaking tyrants. Identify yourself. This is ridiculous. Identify yourself. Or either step out the car. Or either step out the car. Either give me some okay. ID or step out Curtis the car. Curtis Clark, March 11th, 1995. No. Where's your ID? Curtis Clark, March 11th, 1995, you don't get ID. You know why? Because I just identified myself. I'm not driving. This isn't a traffic stop. The cop then restricted his departure, presenting the options, the easy way or the hard way, a common tactic used by law enforcement. Am I right? What's, what's your last one? Am I right? All right, what's your last one, bro? I'm not telling you my last one. I don't know you. What's your name? What are, who are you? Get away from me. <laughs> Hey, what's your, what is your name? You want to be famous? That's fine. You do? That's fine. You'll be the but, third, hey, 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 the third, your, or no, it's like the eighth stop. Hey, no. Was well, Curtis Clark? What's your last? This is weird. Birth? You you guys want to be famous? What's your date of birth? Why? What's your date of birth? Cause you're bad cops. You're all the same. Okay. What's what is this shit? I'm so f tired of this. All, you had to do is all I had to do was do what I was doing. All you had to do was stop doing what you're hey, doing. Hey, hey. Get your hand off my car, sir. Get out of the car. Look at him. His hands on his. His hands on his. Look at this guy. Getting all freaking sorts of stupid. Why? Get out the car. Get out the car. Your choice. Your choice. Your choice. You're ugly. Your choice. You're ugly. That's great. Your choice. Put your hands on the wheel. All right, they're arresting me. Freaking tired. Are your body cams on? Turn your body cams on. Turn your body cams on. Turn your body cams on. The look of disappointment. <laughs> I know. This is my VA. 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 Alright, I can't. You see him? You might want to back up too, my guy. You're not a sergeant. Where's your rank? You guys broke every rule. Fired. Fired. Fired.
too stupid to turn it off too. In the Valua County, a recent arrest incident unfolded. The sheriff's office shares a body camera video responding to online criticism. A sergeant assigned to a burglary call takes a wrong turn, stopping on the wrong street. Stop the Stop! Can you stay here? No. What are you doing here? Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Turn the car off now. Turn the car off. Watch what you do about punch on your Don't ever forget that. I'll punch your damn ass. Hey, let me explain. Let me explain to you what we're doing. Don't ever put your hands on me, and I don't say you. I don't give up. Don't ever put your hands on me, and I didn't turn up on you. Watch it. Okay, then get in. My wrist hurts though. Get in. My wrist hurts. Okay. Get in. Calm down. We'll help you out. Okay. Don't push me, girl. I'm not gonna touch you. Put your feet in the car, please. Can you try to get away? I will leave you, but she cannot be in my face. Neither one of them. Get out of my face. Okay. Now, let's delve into a story about a detective named Jeffrey Eagleburger. He's a part of the Bremerton Police Department, and they're on a mission not to solve a crime, but to search for illegal drugs in a house. As time ticks on, a home security camera captures an unexpected sight. It shows Detective Engelbarger taking something that doesn't belong to him. What he's doing may raise some questions, and it's up to us to uncover the truth behind this unexpected twist in our story. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of hunting by clothing, stuff like that. I don't know. Are there guns? Well, there's a lot of hunting by clothing, stuff like that. The officer was observed putting money into his pocket, and as a result, Eagleburger was promptly put on administrative leave and subsequently resigned from his position during the investigation. In New Mexico, a recent event is unfolding. The story revolves around a former sheriff named James Lugin. He's been handed a significant sentence by Judge Kathleen McGarry Ellenwood. This sentence is a three-year prison term. The case is linked to an illegal development in New Mexico. It's crucial and carries weighty implications. The arrest video of Sheriff Lugin is now public, shedding light on this situation. The former Rio Araba County Sheriff's future is uncertain as he begins his prison sentence, leaving many curious about the details of this case. What is sir? Executing a search warrant. Uh, Sheriff Lujan. For him or? For the building as well. What? I have no idea. It's, but no, just stay here. No, I can't, I can't, I can't have you enter the, the scene. You guys are f***ed up, man. Why are they beating up to you? Let's, let's get him on the opposite side of this truck. Cody? Let's go on the I opposite side. I can't tell. Why is that? Dude? That, that's let's, messed up. Let's walk over here. Sure. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Let's get him on the opposite side of this truck. I got the press out here taking pictures of me in handcuffs. Push him around into the doorway and she... Yeah, push him around into the doorway. At least to the doorway. Aye! Keep him up there. Come over here, sir. Keep him up there. Let's go! What are you doing? Stay out here! Aye! Just stop, just stop. Stay out! Jesus! Really? You don't have to move. Just get... It hurts! They're loose, sir. Just get out of the way. No, they're not loose. Stick your finger in there. Can you stick your finger in there? Yes, I can. Well, they hurt. 
can you take these handcuffs off? They hurt. They hurt. Am I under arrest? You're being detained. Well, yeah. Why do I have to have cuffs on? They hurt. We'll take them off in a minute. This won't take long. You have a search warrant for my iPhone. You got my iPhone. You want a search warrant for the building. You're searching the building. I don't know what you're searching for, though. I'm going to tell you. Okay. You're not letting me explain this. So this search warrant gives me the authorization to seize your phone. Okay. okay. Search your phone. Okay. But it also gives me the authorization. So what, what I'm asking for you to do is unlock your phone, unlock it, give it back to me, and I'm going to remove the security settings. I don't want your passcode. I'm not asking for your passcode. I'm asking you to unlock the phone. For the search warrant, you can read it if you want. I will if I get a chance to talk to my attorney. It doesn't work like that. Marty, not a negotiation. Off. I've done. been asking. When this is all done, you can call your attorney. We're getting, trying to get you to comply with the warrant. The warrant stipulates exactly what we want. You give us that, you get the phone, we're out of here. Right now, I'm under arrest. You're because detained. I am yes. under arrest. I am in handcuffs. Yes. I'm not free to leave. I'm not free to leave? Am I free to leave? No. No. Then, if I'm under arrest, I have a right to an attorney, correct? You do. Okay. And I'm not questioning you. I'm invoking I'm telling, my right I'm to an telling. attorney right now. Okay. Do you understand that? So, take him over here. Book me for book him For obstruction. Not obstruction. Take him over here to our unit. Take him over here to our unit. They're going to book me. Stop, 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 just walk. Stop, what are you doing? Stop, what are you doing? Stop. What? What is this? I, I told you what the warrant stipulates. You have every opportunity to cooperate. You want to cooperate, you're going to jail. Have a seat, sir. Alright, Grant. Why is already all the whole thing? No, I haven't been searched. Just take me so we can do it. I don't have any knives. I don't have any weapons. I that's my wallet. I don't have any weapons. Okay? I really don't. According to the district attorney's statements, Lawan resigned shortly after being arrested for a few hours. A police officer believed he could break the rules, but fate had other plans. A smart citizen stood up for his rights, teaching the officer a lesson. Later, the officer's boss likely gave him a stern talking to. What'd you stop me for? What's your what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge Name's number? Right there. What is your name? Speak your name to me. I can't read. Officer Nabotny. What is your name? I don't answer questions. What did you stop me for? What did you stop me for? Huh? For disorderly conduct. No, I don't think so. You're... No. You're Mr. Clanchar, aren't you? I don't answer questions. Uh -huh. Stand by. Am I free to leave? No. You're out of your jurisdiction. Am I free to leave? Am I free to leave? You pulled me over in West in Westwood. Am I free to leave? You. F Yo, p give me a supervisor. Yo, p I'm asking for a supervisor. Well, then you better get your chief here. You're out of your jurisdiction. Okay? You want to go on this sword, you're gonna. Hey, Tom. Officer Dowdell, am I free to leave? I don't have to ID. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. I love you, buddy, but I can do that, right? Protected First Amendment free speech. Could you educate him, please? Can I step out? Wait, am I free to leave? Then I'm just as free to stay. Tom, I would appreciate it if you would educate this bastard mother who pulled me over for flipping him off. Please, would you? What did you tell him? Have a good day. No, 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 no. I have the freedom of speech, okay? I can say what I want and I can do this to you all I want, okay? That's right. Feel free to leave. Have a good day. And I'm free to stay too. Absolutely. Okay. Don't think this is the end of this. Okay. You violated my First Amendment right to free speech. You piece. I'll be over for the police report too. Okay. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Let's hope this cop now understands and won't trouble others in the days ahead.
there's a lawyer named Grisham. He's sharing his worries about police officers bothering a group of bikers. Let's dive into this tale and watch how the sergeant and the lawyer deal with the situation. None of your business? Yeah, none of your business? None of your business? I don't answer questions. And if you solicit, if you solicit a trespass, I'll sue your ass. You can't solicit a trespass. But go ahead and try. I understand you don't like free speech and you hate accountability. I got a camera. It's the most deadly weapon to a cop. Is the camera. Oh, darn, you can't trespass me. That sucks. It's none of your business if I'm supposed to be here. I can be wherever I want. It's public. Yeah, this is public. How's it going, man? I'm Sergeant Claire. I don't care. I, I'm not going to shake your hand. No, here, You're you, over here I'm harassing gonna, people. I'm going to give you my card, though. Okay, okay, I'll take your card. Yeah. You got a card or anything? Nope. I'm who, not going to identify. Who are you with? Myself. Yourself? Yeah. Are you a lawyer? Or? I'm a lawyer. A lawyer? Okay. Are you the same one that, I, that was on the phone the other day, I guess? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, man. If you've been harassing my guys, then I'm the lawyer you've been talking man. to. Harassment, it's harassment. This is harassment. How's it harassment. It's harassment because why? Because he's got a sweater on. No. Do you know what, why they got pulled over? I know why you. You're, why is the gang unit pulling these guys over? I know exactly why you're doing it. They're a gang unit. Yeah, That's they're a, not a gang. Those are documented gang members. That's not a documented gang. It is a document. Now, have you not read the case law on this issue? Which one? The case law on this. Which you want one? to go get it out of my car? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's so you can get my car, <laughs> don't you? No, you'll see it in court. Don't worry, because I'm going to be suing every single one of you. It's in this district, too, so you might want to look up your own district. Moving on, we find Samuel Scott Jr., a man in a bit of a situation. Five police officers from the Miami Police Department surround him. They've caught him red-handed near his aunt's place. He had just visited her. The reason? Well, it turns out that they believe he took his own car without permission. Things are getting quite intense for Samuel. The officers have their eyes on him, and it seems like he's in a pickle. Let's see how this unfolds. Yeah, he's being detained right now for QRX. Chupero. Pero qué? ¿Qué está esperando? Tú eres un sargento. Okay. Yo tengo mi sargento. All right. I'm I'm being arrested. Detained right now. Why am I being detained? I'm gonna explain to you in a minute. Police is going to want to It's coming with the bed. Where's your ID? Right there. You're gonna take all your stuff. We can't take this. So this. Um, can you, what about my kids? Man? I mean, I, I, I literally, I went over there to see my kids again? and everything. My kids are... Where are your kids? I was with them. <laughs> Where are they? They were over there at what's the name? They were over at my cousin's house. So, Where? huh? Where? What? I've been over there since, what? I want to say at least five, what? Five thirty, six o'clock? I, I actually okay. walked back over here. Or a you have two IDs? Yeah. That's not good. Well, one is an ID and one is a driver's license. Okay. Are you going to take me to my kids or something, or am I going to take me? You pay the tape. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll get the story together. I'll let you know what's up, okay? All right. I really don't know what I did. I really don't care, but... All right, listen. Hey, what's up? I'm going to reach you your rights real quick. All right? Telling you guys that oh God, I can confirm where I was and I can even confirm my activities. I recently logged off of the VPN at my job. Okay. At what time? Roughly before I came over here, before I called you guys. Okay. But I'm telling you, you guys got the wrong guy. Okay. The description of the car, of the guy that took off from your car is just like yours. But that's half of Miami. Bald headed with a beard. Uh, even if he had dreads, it dreads with a beard. Okay. But then that's. It's not fair. I mean, like, like I said, my kids, I called because my car got... A group of police officers stopped a car and requested the driver to provide her license, registration, and proof of insurance. Hey, is there a problem? Yeah, step in for Get your license, registration, proof of insurance. While she searched for the documents, a man in the car asked why they had been pulled over. The officer responded by asking if he had called them losers earlier. When he refused to answer their question, they scolded him for being loud and disruptive on a public road, calling it public disorderly conduct. What'd you pull this over for? Hey, bud, I got a question. Are you the one that said, uh, 
losers out the window as you drove by? I don't answer questions. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely you. Um, and that is loud and boisterous conduct upon a public roadway. That's public disorderly conduct. So that's what you pulled us over for is you thought you heard somebody say something? Mr. I don't answer questions. You're, hey, listen here, you idiot. You work for us. You're a public servant. You're supposed to be professional, not me. I don't have a code of conduct to, to go by. You do. Okay. Name and badge number? We don't have badge numbers, bud. Yeah, that's a lie. What's your name and badge number? We don't have badge numbers. Well, would you like my computer number? Why did he give me a number and you can't? Because uh, he gave you his computer number, bud. It's 14 zero. You need to just calm down. You need to calm down and go learn about some professionalism. Okay. You're going to hear from my lawyer. I can't wait. This is an illegal stop. You have to witness a traffic violation or suspect us of a crime. Yeah, I was going to say, would you like to hear the traffic violation? Yes, actually. I yeah, because we wasn't speeding. We don't have any lights out. Didn't do anything wrong. This is a retaliatory stop for yeah. something that you thought you heard. No, no, by the way, lights are required one hour before dusk. <laughs> Just step <FYI. laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be great. Why don't you get your supervisor over here? I'm not required to. You can ask for one. Well, I'm asking for one. That's what I just did. Okay. Yeah, you can ask for one. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking for a supervisor. Matter of fact, get Lieutenant Cothran out here. 619-220-Grime. Lieutenant Cothran. I, I don't work for Lieutenant Cothran. Yes, you do. You work for the Sheriff's Office. He is your supervisor. Get him out here. He's not my supervisor. Okay. You're going to learn something. No court, no kind. I just want to speak to you. Don't answer any questions. Yeah, I want to be present with the conversation. I mean, have you been present before? Will you come and talk to me here? Are you? I would like. I would, I would like to explain the citation that I'm issuing you, not him. So if you do me a favor. <laughs> So I stopped you for two reasons. Okay. First reason is when you came on the 28, you didn't signal 100 feet prior to turning on the 28. Your blinker has to be initiated with it before 100 feet before you turn on the 28. Okay. So I'll you over for that. And when he's hanging out of the window, those can be misconstrued as arm signals, otherwise known as turn signals. When he's holding the bird out, if okay. somebody else construes that as you turn and if you don't turn, somebody pulls it out in front of you and hits you. Okay. Is that fair? Uh, no, I don't agree with it, but I see where you're coming from. This is going in as a contact only. There's no floor. There's no fine. Okay. Do you have any questions? For no. Here's all more information about. Thank you. Here's the warning. Thank you. Drop safe. All right. The tension grew as they exchanged words, leaving the situation tense and uncertain. Write your information down. Hey. Just Please just and you're not gonna write your information down on your information, your contact information. I don't have you're a public have servant. I write your information you down. Would you like to go obtain a copy of the general order that the sheriff's office? I'm not required to give you a I don't have to do anything. Totally you you work for me, I don't work for you. you right okay, you see it on YouTube. Have a good day, bud. Do you have a card, bud? I do not. We're not in can you write your name and information down? I appreciate you not being hostile. I don't appreciate that. My name is on the side Okay. If you have any issues, you can call. And I thought the circuit was designed for this stop or have this number. Thanks. As the story unfolds, we find the police officers arriving. The man queries their names and badge numbers. Then he approaches the sergeant, inquiring about reasonable suspicion. The sergeant keeps repeating the same words, leaving one to wonder if he knows the Constitution or the First Amendment. The man, though trying to appear nonchalant, can't hide his nervousness. He never anticipated someone who knows the law better than him. The man informs the group of officers that they're surrounding him and should be doing their jobs instead of asking for IDs from law-abiding citizens exercising their right to film in public. Christian Rogers. No, your ID with your address and all that. Okay. So what you want to see my ID for? Our police station. Is that against the law? 
Officer That's against the law? What law is against? Officer is there. Because I thought I'm Florida. Identifying you, sir. I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought Florida Penal Code 901.151 states. Absolutely the only not. time I must have done ID to you is when I'm in the commission of a crime, about to commit a crime, or have committed a crime. So right That's now, Florida Penal Code 901.151. Well, go ahead and investigate. I don't have to investigate. I don't have to communicate. You no, you're not saying my ID. Yes, I do. No. Not until, you can, not until you can tell me what crime. I, back of a what crime so have I committed? Can be seen from public. Uh, absolutely. Right. right. So what crime have? I just want to know why right. you guys are filming it. None of your business. None of your business. You know what? That's not even necessary. If you want to know why we're filming it, I just told you. You're not saying my ID. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's fine. I'd like to identify you guys. Like you don't need to identify me. Who are you? What's your name and your badge number? Can I What's your badge number? What's your name? Thank you. What's your name and your badge number? You don't have a name. Okay. And your name and your badge number? Your buddies call you D. D. My badge number? Yeah. 92, sir. 92. So and your name and your badge number? Is there a legal reason you want my ID? My badge right number is 564. Like Thank you. Another officer mentions suspicious activities, but the man educates him, citing the Supreme Court's stance that lawful activities can't be considered suspicious. The sergeant reiterates his point. He concedes that suspicion isn't a crime, and the man then questions if what he's doing is illegal to which the sergeant answers in the negative. The man dismisses him and proceeds to ask other officers for their names and badge numbers. It's suspicious. No, I don't. No, because the Supreme Court said you can't. You can't deem so a lawful activity you're suspicious. Every day somebody's out here filming our back in the station. Two guys. Probably. Just filming the back. So but that don't make thing? that don't make it suspicious. It's, it's alarming it us. It does, to whose yeah. definition? Okay, but well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Absolutely. Is suspicion a felony or a misdemeanor? Suspicion? Yeah. Suspicion is not a crime. So it's not a crime, so it's not a law, so you don't have anything to enforce. Suspicion is the back, film in the back of our facility. Our facility, absolutely. Okay, but is that against the law? I didn't say it was against the okay, law. Okay, then, thank you. What is your name and your badge number? And your name and your badge number? Thank you. What is your name and your badge number, Sergeant? Right now. What is your name and your badge number, Sergeant? Can I speak with him? Well, then he kick rocks. Don't, to make sure you don't talk to me, then give me Florida Penal Code 901.151. Give me that Penal Code. What do you mean? Hey, man. Hey, man. Why you you're walking up behind me traffic. like that, man? You're impeding traffic, sir. Can you That's not traffic cool, traffic? cool, man. Don't walk up. You got a, web, a gun, man. Don't walk up behind me what like that. Cool, I know you're cool, but I'm just saying don't walk up behind me like that. You guys want to make a scene? You guys want to No, make you're making a scene. We didn't approach anybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight they police officers, but we're making a no, scene. You guys are filming on three hundred dollar phones. If you want to film for professionally and you want to get a good scene, a three hundred dollar phone. Good equipment and film. This is a Galaxy S seven, buddy. This phone was nine hundred dollars. But what's your purpose, bro? Hey, listen. So what? What is your purpose? Let me talk. Like, come out. I told you already. I told you already. I wanted to come out and exercise a free right. Freedom. I wanted to come out and exercise freedom and see how this guy is going to respond to me. And that's exactly what happened. All right. Come talk to me, will you? No, I don't want to talk to you. You didn't want to identify yourself. Yeah, I don't want to talk. To. Anything you can say to me, you can say in front of my, my uh, friend here. Because until you guys tell me what law I'm breaking, you have no authority over me. First of all, we have the authority granted to us by the law. We never said you were breaking the law. Right. Okay. So, and again, I'm going to say, until I break the law, you have no authority over me. And he's a sergeant. And he's a sergeant. But after we told you that I didn't want to ID you, you why did you know? You told me I was going to give it to you. Yes, you were. If your camera rolled down. Not really. We just want to record and be left okay. alone. All right, have fun. Did I, did I give you a hard time at all? Can you take this officer with you, please? Come talk to him. Yeah, we're all done. Thank you. Dude. Thank you. Thank you. I really wish you guys would have never approached us. Either just say, hello, how you doing? Because this is the this is the image that the rest of the world is going to see of the Pembroke Pines Police Department. The image we're going to see of you. Thank you, sir. No, you. Okay. All right. Who came here to do a job that was never done. Mm -hmm. Two fancy car owners find themselves in a sticky situation. The Beverly Hills police officer pulls them over, seemingly breaking the rules. Now, let's see how this story plays out. Police officer here in my rearview mirror. I have no idea what for because... I have a radar detector. I knew where he was the second he pulled out from the Starbucks. Did the speed limit all the way here. Cruising with my buddy ahead, Anthony in the Porsche. And uh, yeah, he like followed us off the highway and pulled us over. So I am curious to know why. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Can you have a license registration, sobriety? Yeah. That guy is your friend, right? You're good to go? Yeah, he's a friend of mine. We're just cruising. Okay. Why did you pull us over? 
So body call out and you're coming by because you have many calls. You know that, right? I have many what? Calls, many people calling about you. For what? Just the way you drive. That's you, did you did another? Well, it's impossible. I just left my house and I've done the speed limit not, all the way here. Not, not today, like before, so. So, what's that? All right, so is this yours? Yeah. Okay, so what's your first name? There you go, Damon. Uh, okay, now uh, what's your current address? Uh, I have an address here. Oh, this cop said somebody apparently called us in. Not today, but apparently some other day. This one calling, stopping you, is because we get reports about you guys. Our cars? Were, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you know that? No, I didn't. Oh. We always get complaints because these cars look like this, so we're kind of used to it. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Your proper license? Yeah, absolutely. Ed, don't, don't do that. It's just... I'm just holding it right here. Okay. Keep the noise down. If there's something you can manage yourself, right? Well, the car's not that loud. We get, we're getting uh, reports of that, so... Reports of, of what, though? Loud. It's loud. Okay. Well, I turned it off, but you hear Like, listen to it. That's loud. That's completely legal, though. Yeah, it's illegal to have your fog lamps uncovered. They're not fog, they're just running lights. Yeah, it's illegal to have them uncovered. No, it's not, actually. You're allowed to have any number of running lights above 30 uh, centimeters and below 3 meters. Man, just, it's okay for you to use the camera. Just don't put it on my face. Just put it somewhere. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Just, it's something you can control. Just keep the noise. Yeah, that's why we came out here. We were going for a little drive out in the country. Yeah. We we know to obey the laws in the city. Sure. We, we get pulled over every time we take these cars out. So we're very conscious of, you know, not doing anything yeah, stupid in the city, dude. Especially that. in the winter. It's snowing. Uh -huh. You know, we both, both grew up in the snow. We know how to drive in the snow. Other people don't. So when they see our cars, they think we're, you know, driving dangerously, which we're definitely not. Keep the car down. My car is completely legal. Still has catalytic converters. If uh, they were to have a decibel meter and to hold it at the right angle, uh, a few feet away from the exhaust system, wouldn't be le illegal at all. All right, man, you're good. But you don't have to put a camera. You can put a camera somewhere else. I'm holding it within. I'm not holding it in your like, face. I know, it's just, if you, at the end of the day, I mean, I, I do this just because, you know, like, just like you, some people, you know, get pulled over and then the stuff yeah, that they're being told is that. illegal. We as police officers, we need to see hands. We don't want to see things in your hands. So you can put it somewhere while you do that. And uh, it's safer for us and for, for you, right? Yeah, but you've been out. Okay, have a good day. Now, let's dive into our next tale. A photographer, armed with a camera, stands on public grounds near a state prison. Suddenly, a group of correctional officers approaches, their knowledge of photography laws seemingly absent. The officers engaged in a tense standoff with our intrepid photographer. What's going on, man? Just filming. How are you guys doing? Not much. Just, what's your name? Since you're approaching me all weird, bro, why did you approach me all weird? You slammed your brakes. I'm over here just filming, bro. You know you're on state property? Yeah, which is public property. No, it's not public property. It's public property. It is. What's I'm not dumb. I know this. Here? I'm filming. I already told you that twice. I'm gonna just, start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop asking questions, answering questions for no reason. What's your reason for stopping me? For coming up and talking to me? I'm over here doing nothing, not trying to hide. I'm over here filming. And then you want to come up here and slam your brakes, don't want to identify yourself, don't want to nothing when I asked you something, right? But you want to slam your brakes and be all intimidating. What the our f is that and for? Our, and our badges are on our shirts. I, it, also, but that's not what I asked. I just asked him what his name was. He wanted to slam his brakes because he wanted to slam his brakes and walk behind. I already told you. I said I'm just filming. I said, what's the purpose of it? There, there is. It's for a story. Oh, it is. It is. I know for a fact. I already know. I've, already, I've done this for a living for years, bro. Don't tell me what I can do, man. However, as time goes by, they realize they've underestimated their foe. Who knows the law inside out? You guys want to stand around and intimidate me for no reason. It's not going to work with me, bro. I'm going to continue citizens? doing my story. Are you one of them sovereign citizens? I'm not going to answer dumb questions, bro. What, what's your name and badge number? Why don't you identify it verbally right like you're supposed to? Do you tell the judge that right here? That's what you tell him? My badge is right here. Oh, that's what it is. So you're right here. One of those, huh? I know your cousin. I know your cousin. He's famous. So we're live, guys, right now, just in case these guys want to violate my rights. I'm over here on state property recording, and he wants to, he wants to um, try to tell me I can't be here to film on public property. Eventually, the officers retreat, recognizing they're dealing with a person well-versed in the rules of the land. It's a story of rights and determination unfolding on a quiet day near the state prison.
Officer Smith believed it's wrong to snap pictures of his patrol car. He felt a bit upset. Little did he realize the folks taking photos understood the law better than he did. Karma was swiftly approaching, and he had no clue. You can witness the whole story for yourself. So, um... Fine. No, we know. What's your um, name and badge number, sir? My name is Officer Smith and badge number is 263. Thank you. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, my partner's car was parked on the street, and as it was parked on the street, um, as it was parked on the street, one of the gentlemen got out and took a picture of the inside of her car. So that's why I was curious in terms of what they were doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if he was a few gentlemen. Why would you, what, why would, would they not be allowed to? No, sir. Why would it matter? Sir, that's legal. Sir, that's legal. You're the one committing crimes out here. You could, you're, you're in violation of a misdemeanor. No one here is committing any crimes. Yeah. Don't it? In a small South African town, at LM Cafe, a group of men stormed into the retail shop. They chased away customers and quickly shut the business doors. Without any uniforms, they began taking things from the shop. However, there was a twist. Later on, it was revealed that all seven of these men were, in fact, police officers in plain clothes. One officer was seen slipping money into his pocket. Well, all right, thank you. All of you. All of you. Thank you very much. All of you must hold give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand, man. Hey, one hand, one man. Yeah, hold it like this. Hold it like this. Like this. Hold. You are bribing for. Hmm? You think we are the police in Ethiopia? You have a small money, peanuts, like this. Hmm? What? No. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look, look. Please, please. Another handcraft for this. Yeah. We are taking these three for private, man. Yeah. Out. All of you. All right. Yes. You must lock here. Yeah. I have the key. So let's lock. You must put your where is that? The lead for that. Yeah. So that. Let's go! Hey, no one has that Bring that man. Uh, 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 Let's go. Come. You have a The situation took a turn, and Eagle Barger, one of the officers, was placed on administrative leave and chose to resign during the investigation. A shocking revelation in a seemingly routine day at the store. Once this man spotted Officer Cudworth emerging from the police vehicle, he sensed trouble brewing. It's clear these two share a history, 
and as expected, Officer Cudworth displays hostility right from the start. I'm good, man. I know, I just don't want you near my... Sir Cudworth claims the supervisor is en route, which might seem cooperative, but his hand gravitates towards his holster. A well-informed citizen promptly points this out, leaving Cudworth with no alternative but to release his grip on the holster and comply with orders. Yeah. All right. you do have Get your supervisor. Okay, I've got one coming. Keep your hands where I can see him, man. Hey, you can't tell me what to do, partner. You work for me, I don't work... No. Partner. No, you're a citizen, I'm here to protect the public. And who do you work for? The, the citizens, right? No. You work for the people. Thank Shut your mouth. What Great makes you think I would reach for your weapon? The gentleman here is requesting a supervisor. What He's makes you think I right? would reach for your weapon? What? Because you're within arm's distance and you're swearing at me, you're... He does voice his objections, asserting the man lacks authority to dictate his actions. Now, let's observe how this situation unfolds. By the way, that's free speech. Not that's not hostile. Not hostile. Report, free speech is not hostile. That's yeah, free speech. Okay? Free speech. And did it's you make the weapon? No, really it's not. My person that I got pulled over she wasn't disturbed. Yes, she was. That's why I was, she she why I was recording. She asked why I was recording. Okay, that's not disturbed. Yeah, this is free disturbed. speech. No, it's yeah, not. There's no disorderly conduct. That's number one. Number number two? So let's go Let's go by your narrative. It didn't disturb her. The recording disturbed her, right? So the just so the recording is disorderly. I don't think no, so, no, dude. No, the recording's fine. I don't have problems. But she didn't mention okay, anything done. about the I'm swearing. Secondly, okay, you made the far. comment about right reaching here. for your weapon before I swore, didn't you? What's your name and badge number, dude? What, what's your name and badge number? Officer Cudworth, badge number 315. Ah, oh, you're that. You get you get pretty easily triggered. I'm not a dog. I'll wait where I want. So maybe I'll wait there. Maybe I'll wait there. He said, excuse me, I'm not even near you. He goes, I don't want you trying to grab my d Okay. Because I, excuse me, dude? Like, shut, shut up, dude. Shut up. So he goes, excuse me? I go, you're excused. Go back to your job. There's a person here who needs you, who requires your, your attention. So she asks him, why is he recording me? And she goes, he says, well, that's something you can ask him. No problem with that. He turns around and I says, what makes you think that I would grab for your weapon? He goes, well, you're a hostile person that's swearing. And I was like, that's, that's free speech. He goes, no, that's disorderly. Now, she was upset by that. I said, no, it's not. I can go tell you to f*** yourself all day. And second of all, she did not complain about my swearing. She complained about my recording. A constitutionally protected activity cannot be disorderly. And secondly, I made, you made that comment about me reaching for your weapon before I even said a word for you. So get your supervisor. I'm not going to play this game with you. He just tried to pull shit the other day with someone else, and he's not going to pull that shit with me. So I want to make a formal complaint again. All right. So I'll watch the body cam. All right. So... We'll get that taken care of. The marker is, if it's properly marked, or he's giving those those yep, directives. Correct. But to just walk by me and say, step back because you're going to reach for my weapon, that's ridiculous. Okay. I was with him yesterday, too, and he was the rudest, yeah, nastiest cop I ever met in my life. So He, he directed traffic. He told he was super but yeah, but, yeah. As soon as the crosswalk turned wide, he directed traffic into me. That's just crazy. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw... Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. There was a man holding a camera, capturing photos. Out of nowhere, a lady cop appeared, her voice not so friendly, telling him to step back from her car. She believed she could speak harshly to citizens and get away with it. Little did she know, her day was about to take a turn. The man had no intentions of moving away from the vehicle, Instead, he simply asked her to be polite in her request. Get away from my car right now. Who the hell do you think you are? Get away from my car. No, I don't need to. Get away from my car. I don't need to. Get away from my car. I don't need to. That's our car. I'm not getting in my car with him this close to it. Hmm, I guess you should have been polite instead of being rotten ass to me. Had you politely you. asked me to move, maybe I would have moved. I've been but telling to me to get away from the car, it What's don't look that way. You need to step back. No, I don't need to. You need to get back, sir, because at this point it is an officer safety concern for me. I am not opening. And what law is that? I am not opening my door. What law is officer safety? So climb in through the passenger seat, man. You are being ridiculous, sir. No, you are being ridiculous. Coming out here telling me orders when I don't have to follow your orders. I didn't break no law. No, I don't. That's at where you're point, wrong, honey. At this point, I'm asking you to step away order? from my car. Is that a lawful order? Step away from you could politely yes. ask. Is that a order? Yes, it is. Do you, you have the lawful authority to make that order? At this point, I don't know what you are doing. I do not trust your Pretty actions. Obvious. I do not trust Pretty your actions. Well, that's your problem. I, do. I don't trust your actions. It's quite obvious what we're doing. 
I have never shot anybody. Like shoot people. I've never shot anybody. Okay, well, not shoot people. What's You're your not? badge number? Another one four five nine two. Thank you. And I yours, sir? People as well. Yeah, one, four, sure nine, do. Three, four, the and the name? Not that shoot people and get away with it. Thank. Yeah, I can't see that because it's you know too dark. But I can see that one. Yeah, you shouldn't just bark orders at people. Well, at this point, you be nice. Like, no, we didn't give something. you no choice. <laughs> Could you step aside so I can get my vehicle so that would I was that should be that nice should be how you sidewalk. treat the public, not get away from my vehicle. I was trying but to be nice I don't, on the I sidewalk, but all you guys wanted to talk to, uh, talk about was trying to talk to over there. I didn't want to talk to you over there, and I'm not required. I was trying to, to be polite. I know you were, but I'm still not required to talk to you. I didn't call. Well, you actually, you weren't being polite. You were interrupting our conversation. Yeah, you should have went over there and talked to them first before coming up to us because they called you. Not I us. wanted to get your side you're, you're, first. I, there is no my side. There is no my side. I'm on a public sidewalk doing what I'm not allowed to do. That's and that's that. what we told them. Okay, we were cool. actually defending what sure. you were doing. Cool. At this point, though, I cannot defend this. Oh, I don't. I don't need you to defend. No, it, the Constitution defends what I'm doing. You should worry about whether the Constitution defends what you do. Hmm. And walking out and t being rude and barking orders at civilians. Did either one of us break a law? The Constitution's not going to back you up on that. The tables were turning, and the lady officer was in for a lesson she hadn't expected. It's not a law, though. I'm asking, did either one of us break a law? you're so scared, you shouldn't have become a cop. should have went into the private sector if you're so scared. Not everybody's a threat out here. Did either one of us break a law? Everybody like they're a threat. Neither one of us broke a law, correct? No. Not correct? Or is correct? I answered the first part of your question. Nobody broke the law. Okay, so since none, neither of us broke the law, then we deserve respect because you work for the people. Okay. However, and it's not ridiculous for an officer to tell someone to get away from their vehicle. You could ask, would you please step away from my vehicle? If you had said it like that, I would have said, sure, no problem. But you said it in a rude manner. Respect is everything. We didn't treat you with disrespect just because we were having a conversation and did not want to talk to you is not disrespectful. It's our Fifth Amendment right. We don't have to talk to you. We never have to you. Okay? So try having a little bit more respect for the people you work for. And then you'll get respect in return. Because we broke no laws. The only time you have authority over a citizen is when they break the law. Learn you your place. Say, you may leave. I can leave. Okay. But you need to understand your place in the food chain. I appreciate what you're saying. I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but you were being rude, so you got it back. That's how that works. Just like respect gets respect. Okay. Okay? Have a great night. Now have a nice night and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.